So for today, we're going to be looking at the Plague Breaker set, if you guys don't know. Uh, this is the Eververse armor, and I still don't know how I feel about it. So let me know what you guys think about this armor set in the comments below. I do... Oh, ugh. Okay. So for today, we're going to be looking at the Plague Breaker set. If you guys don't know, this is the Eververse set that she is selling during episode Revenant. So if you guys are watching this in the future, um, don't worry. This armor set should be coming up soon in the Eververse. If not, the next season or the next episode, the episode after that, I think we have four episodes. Yeah, we should have four episodes. So the last episode um, at the latest, but they've been pretty good at uh, distributing the Eververse set from previous seasons to the current season. So yeah, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because it also does help a lot. Other than that, let's look at this armor. So here is the armor uh, available during episode Revenant for $15 each class in the Eververse store. So you will be destroying $45 if you want this armor. This is nothing new. If anything, this is the cheaper op op option because uh, there is armor in the game where it's $20 each, which is $60 in total, which is absolutely wild. Um, yeah, I, make, I can have make a video critiquing the prices of the Eververse because it's abusive pricing, which means... Uh, usually usually um the pricing in the game is like really terrible to the point where like the ornaments are like six dollars and you might be wondering why that's a problem uh you can't buy six dollars you can only buy five and ten so they're pushing you to buy ten dollars so that way you can have four dollars over so that way you're like well i, I have four dollars i might as well buy something else or buy more currency so that way i can buy, get something else because you can't really get anything for four dollars aside from like some really shitty things like emotes i think no yeah actually some emotes um some ghost projections and other stuff but we're not here to critique eververse even though i will always love to critique it because it's absolute cancer um let's talk about the armor so i actually pretty like i like the armor i'm not gonna lie um there's a few pieces where i just question the design uh specifically the arms and i'm not complaining about like the design itself because it, i am complaining about the design itself who decided to put fucking blades on the shoulders it makes no sense now i know people are gonna be like this is rule of cool i get that but i also think it's stupid because it's not a rule of cool for me because i think it's dumb as shit it's not it's, it's okay let me explain my thought process here when you're moving your arms you're gonna stab yourself with those blades dog and i don't care if they're loose or anything there's gonna be moments where you're gonna move your arm and it's gonna get hit on that blade and there's multiple of them so i just think it's the dumbest shit in the world if they really want some wanted some blades there i think at the top of the shoulder would have been a little bit better and less blades because i feel like it's a little too much yeah i don't really usually talk about like the design specifically like how they made it but in this aspect i think the shoulder pads are the dumbest shits in the world like i don't care if someone was like i think this is cool i that's that's totally cool that you think it's cool i think it's the dumbest shit in the world because it just makes no sense like it's not practical like, you would not do that because you would be stabbing your arms constantly like it would be so terrible again i think it would have been a little bit better if you just put it all the way at the top um yeah like have like a shoulder pad like a leather one that obviously they already have um and then just have some blades at the top or have the blades on their on their pants uh that would have been way better i think the arms are just the dumbest shit in the world and i will probably never use them um i think the helmet's super cool um like no like full stop the helmet's super cool i really really like it the chest piece i think is decent and i mean decent in the spec in the sense that like it's not the worst thing in the world because the arms exist and they are the worst piece in the world but I just find myself not really caring about the chest piece. The boots, on the other hand, I think are fucking cool. The only problem is the like metal pieces on the on the uh, thighs uh, take the off color, so that's really unfortunate. Um, and then last but not least, the cloak. Um, I would have liked it, but unfortunately, the way the hat is on the head, it really. Um, on anything but the helmet the plague breaker helmet it looks terrible because the hat is actually really really high up which means that you know it's gonna look stupid so yeah if you combine the hat with literally anything you're just gonna see that you have like a five head which is very very unfortunate because i do think this this set looks pretty cool 
Um, this is just honestly just problems with a lot of these pieces. Not saying they're terrible by any means. I made some pretty cool sets. It's just the fact that like design wise, I question a few things like the shoulder pads are kind of the dumbest shits in the world. Um, the hat, like why is it so high up that you can see their forehead and more like stuff like that. As for shading, I definitely think it's fine. Um, you guys will notice that the the metal pieces on the thighs, I take the off color, which is very unfortunate. Other than that, I really don't see anything that's like really pissing me off. Everything's shadering to the way where I was expecting it to shader, which is very, very fortunate because again, um, when it comes to shadering, that's when it gets really, really annoying because I'd rather not have to like go out of my way to make something look good, which is very cool. So I'm very much happy that they didn't butcher the shadering. That being said, um, I just think the design is what butcher everything. I, I'm going to be honest with you, man. The shoulder pads, I think that's the dumbest. I on. <laughs> let me let me get my thoughts together. <laughs> Hold on. I definitely think these are the worst arms in the game right now, design wise. I just think they're so impractical. Like, I just can't really not hate on it. It's just so terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry whoever designed this. It's just like when like let's say like if i designed an armor set i would definitely think first and foremost like is this going to be practical for the actual hunter to use or the guardian to use like if i move my arms a certain way or my legs are a certain way am i going to stab myself with it and that's like the thought process i would go for because again like you're gonna stab yourself <laughs> and to be fair like you you would have to raise your arm pretty high to stab yourself but it's just the fact that like that's a danger there shouldn't be that type of danger when you're wearing armor in my opinion but let me know what you guys think about the hunter set as for the titans i actually think the titans have a worst arms because theirs is actually a little bit lower that being said it wouldn't like it i don't know it would definitely dig into your uh, like bicep area so yeah it's still stupid but yeah there's a lot of pieces i don't like here so hunt or uh, so Titans, the helmet, I think is really, really cool. It's just on the wrong class. I think the Warlocks should have gotten this helmet just because it it definitely gives off Warlock vibes more than anything else. Because you will see the Warlock helmet and I will bitch about it for a long time. But um, for this one, I'm just going to tell you the pieces that I personally really like, which is going to be the chest piece, uh, boots, and the helmet. I think the helmet's cool. It's just I don't really like it for the Titans. The chest piece, however, I think it's fucking awesome. Chest piece, or I mean, specific, uh, uh, the boots are really cool as well. There are a few problems that I have with it, but it's not like going to break the armor set for me. The mark, I think it's kind of on the boring side and the arms have the same problem with the hunters where it's just impractical, um, specifically just the three blades on the, on the uh, bicep. If they took that out or put it up a little higher, or put it like on the actual shoulder pad, I would actually have no problem with this. And shoulder pad, they would have to put it pretty high up so that way it's not impractical. Again, um, I usually never talk about like the practicality of the armor, but with this armor set, I really just thought saw it and I was like, nah, like there's no reason, there's no way this armor is practical or not. And I actually want to go back into the game and see like which armor sets is practical and which isn't. Wait, let me know if you guys would be interested in that because it does sound like a fun video to make because again, dude, the arms for the titans and hunters it's just so impractical like why would you why would you put blades that you can dig in to yourself when you're in arm i don't know it's just to me just it screams like someone designed this and was like this is so cool this is so metal and then someone was like but it's not practical why would you put the blades there and they're like because it looks metal and then it's like okay so like just we were not th we're not thinking about practicality when it comes to armor cool 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 i guess whatever um as for how it shaders, um, you guys will just t see how it shaders. I'm just going to gush about the chess piece a little bit more because I fucking love the chess piece. Chess piece is amazing, bro. Chess piece legitimately uh, was the thing that saved this whole set for me. Um, when it comes to shadering, I'm... So it's a little weird because uh, for Echo Anger, it's going to be showing it as white, which is not good because white is usually the off color for Echo Anger, which is not a good thing. Um but thankfully cryptic insignia does showcase it as black so at this point i'm thinking it's going to be one of those armor sets or one of those armor pieces that is more in line with being taking off colors and main colors depending on what shader you use which is pretty annoying boots also have an off color um and i think that's it actually oh no the helmet has a few off colors as well but it, 
other than that, I think the boots are the ones that have the most off colors, which is kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, I don't really care. Um, the chest piece also has an off color at the stomach, but the main plate is the main color, which is really good. I should also mention that there is glows in this one. Um, the hunters, I mean, the hunters only had the helmet that had the glow, which is the eyes. Titans, you guys have the eyes on the helmet. The arms have a few pieces of glow bits, glowy bits, and then the chest piece has the main like line in the actual like armor plate. So there's a little bit of glow in here. It's not enough to be like whoa, but it's enough to be like okay, that's cool, decent. I can definitely use it with some other pieces that are glowy, just not like overly glowing. Uh, but yeah, overall, dude, chest piece is amazing, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but warlocks. I think you guys won and this is crazy to me because your helmet absolutely fucking atrocious I hate this helmet with a goddamn passion and you might want to you might be wondering why such hate Tony why such hate and it's because you guys can't have anything nice look at the helmet why do you have a spike at the bottom of your mouth I don't understand it bro like who designed this like it gives off the vibe of, oh, well, we gave the Hunter and, Ti and Titan some cool he helmets. We just can't give them a beak, just a beak. We have to give them another spike at the bottom because obviously uh, we hate Warlocks and we just don't want to give them anything good in life. So, yeah, we'll just give them a shitty helmet compared to the other two. That's kind of the vibe I get from it because why would you put a beak or not even a, the beak is the main portion. The bottom is just kind of like why like it looks terrible personally it looks really terrible if you wanted to have the the like illusion that it had it had its mouth open wouldn't it make more sense to have like the spike be upside down wouldn't wouldn't that make more sense other yeah I, I don't know i think the helmet is absolutely fucking trash um dog shit in my opinion um other than that Every other piece is absolutely fucking fire. Chest piece, I think, is amazing. Arms, dog. When I saw these arms, immediately I was like, I can combine this with so many pieces. I can combine it with the new dungeon armor that we got. We can combine it with um, the, the uh, oh my god, what's his stupid name? The dude, the, the fucking meatball from... Uh, from the one raid, uh, Nezrek. Uh, Nezrek, you can combine it with the Nezrek Sin chest plate. You can combine it with the Mass Effect chest plate. It's so good and versatile. I'm gonna be using this these arms immensely. Boots, I think, are a little bit on the boring side. That being said, though, I can still utilize them because they're so simple. They have a lot more uh, use because warlocks have a lot of like basic looking chest pieces which is going to look really cool with the boots and then i think the bond is super dope i am so impressed with the bond because it's not anything insanely crazy it's literally just like some metal piece that's almost like taking or it's like a metal piece on the actual band and then a flower like hologram not hologram because it looks more like smoke but that's super cool overall warlocks I don't think I've said this in a while, but you guys won in this one. Definitely won. I mean, to be fair, like hunters, you guys are being limited because of the the, the, inc the impracticality of the the arms. I think they're just the dumbest shits in the world. Other than that, you guys have like two pieces that are actually really cool, which is the helmet and the boots. The cloak, like I said, the the hat just goes way too high, which means that most helmets you're just gonna look like you have a big ass forehead. And again, like I said, the arms are impractical, and the chest piece just doesn't really wow me. I mean, it's fine, um, which you don't definitely don't want to say when you're looking at an armor set that costs fifteen dollars. Um, and then the titans, I th I don't think the helmet. I mean, the helmet looks good on you guys. It's just, I guess I would much have preferred to see that helmet on the warlocks. I think the chest piece is amazing. I think the boots are decent. Uh, the arms, again, impractical a little bit. And then the bond is more on the boring side. And then the Warlocks, you guys got some dope pieces. Like everything from the helmet down, dope as fuck. The helmet, actually terrible. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I apologize, this was a little longer than usual. But it's funny, I was actually considering to make this armor or this like type of style of video a little bit different because I felt like it, I was taking too long to make this editing wise, but now that I think about it, it's pretty short compared to how it used to be. Um, Cause I was thinking about 
changing it up also this is the end of the video so if you guys want to leave i appreciate you guys coming to this point but right now we're just going to be talking about a few things this is usually the time i start just rambling which i do apologize but i do know some people actually enjoy this so um i was thinking about changing the review videos to us to different style the first one was just leave it how it is now where it's just armor being rotated and then you guys can see it and then you guys can just either put it on another screen or you guys can just listen to my opinion about the armor um the second option was to only have the armor rotate them without a shader and then after doing that going into the game and then showing you uh each piece individually the only issue with that is i would want to do it for each of the um each of the class or each of the genders so it would actually take a little bit longer because i would have to go from the males and then showcase shaders and then go to the females and then showcase shaders and then showcase the armor set as well so it would take a little bit longer but i feel like that would be a little bit better unless i was just like i'm just going to do the males because if i did the females it's going to be way longer and it kind of defeats the purpose of the whole reason why i wanted to do that because again i want to make it a little bit shorter editing wise and then the other style was just going to be me going into the game without any armor rotations and just being like here's the armor here's how it shaders and let me show you each of the armor pieces individually and then maybe do the males and females or just do the male so there's a few things i was trying to do but ultimately i just decided to do this one because it's the e not the easier one but it's it's the one that's going to take the least amount of time and still showcase what i want to showcase which is both genders um armor rotations and then the shaders as well um the individual pieces i don't really want to do that because i you can just see them here um the only way i would be down to do that is if um i was able to actually see just the armor piece so for example if you guys don't know um if you look at a hunter armor set when you're on your titan your character will be all black except for the piece that's actually being showcased if i can do that while i'm on my hunter trying to showcase the hunter armor i would probably do that just because that would be a lot easier but i don't know we'll see let me know if you guys like the review style right now if not i'm still trying to see like if i can do it a little bit better because i do think it's kind of boring just having the armor rotate that being said i may just either not talk in these videos anymore so that way you guys can just see the armor rotation and the shader rotation or have that video where it's just not me talking and just showcasing the armor itself and then having me talk about it so that way both people can get what they want one one section just being like i just want to see the armor i don't care about what you think about it and then let me know what your opinion is because i definitely want to know um or something like that so yeah let me know what you guys think again apologies this took too long or specifically this video took too long but let me know what you guys think if you guys have no opinion about it just let me know as well um if you guys like this style let me know other than that be safe i will see you guys later